Hello everyone, welcome to How to Browse a YouTube channel. In this video I'll show you how you can use the Neon uh, effect in, uh, in CapCut. So, first of all, don't forget you can do it. And now let's jump right into the video. So, let me drag this. Uh, I downloaded this video from um, Pixabay. And now let me show you what you have to do. It's pretty short, this video, quick and easy. So let's jump right into the video. Go to effects and here, actually one second, let me enable this uh, highlighter. Maybe it will help you. And here, what you have to do, go effects, video edit effects, and then party. And then we scroll a little bit down in party. In party and here in party, we should have new and outline. Grab it or you can also grab it and drag it over in the over it over it in the in the timeline uh, that's one way another way is just to press on this plus here and it will be added automatically in the video and then you just have to grab it and drag it so it covers the entire video and also something very important at least for me is that if you like an effect just click on it and you can um you can set it to favorite but that's only if you sign in your account, which I didn't, but yeah. Uh, and if you want, maybe you don't want to use the effect for your entire video, then just don't drag it. Just uh, select exactly the frame you want from seven, let's say to eight or from five actually. So you can see the difference three. No, yeah, three from three to eight. You can also press guys B on your and now you are in uh, the split mode which is very uh, helpful right place on b and now you can just split okay so let's say i want from here to here the effect and then press a so you can have you're in the select mode okay and now press on click on this effect neon f outline and from here we can increase or decrease the strength i think the strength is too much So around here, and now looking at some lightning. Double tab, and here increase the glow a little bit more, maybe. Okay, you can also increase the speed, but the out the neon outline you can only increase the strength, and that's it. Now it's up to you, depends on the footage you're using. Maybe in some cases, the strength should be set to 100. I don't know, but usually I think it works best at uh, 80, 90, 20. Depends, depends on your on your video. So uh, now, yes, that's the difference. I think the neon effect that's super useful, neon outline. It's a very useful effect. I actually use it some time i used it this effect so i hope this tutorial helped you and provide you with value i hope you learned something don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials i really appreciate that uh, if you could subscribe and leave a like and if you have any suggestions for the next tutorial please let me know in the comment section thank you for watching and take care